Kia ora everyone, my name is Saba Sami. I'm the founder and CEO of Maxo Technologies. Uh, we are a, an AI company based out of New Zealand. We also have a branch in the US as well. And uh, what we basically do is we bring intelligence to different kinds of sensors uh, for real world applications. Uh, what we have here today is three different demos. This is our first ever uh, product, uh, which is an AI-enabled audio sensor for respiratory health monitoring of swine on swine farms for early disease detection and prevention of uh, disease outbreak on a pig farm. Um, so the way these things work is they hang from the ceiling on a pig farm. Um, and right now what it's doing is it's actually listening to us, uh, but it knows we are not pigs, so it's not doing anything. But watch what happens when I play a sick pig call. So usually on a farm, the way these things work is they would go over a 24 hour period. They would listen to a whole bunch of pigs. And when they decide that they have a sick herd, what they do is they go red and then they stay red and they also send an alert to the farmer letting them know about the location of where the sick herd is um, and also if the farmer doesn't have the phone on them or if it's like a stocks person walking throughout the farm they can see that the devices are red and therefore uh, they know that something's wrong our pilot farm in the u.s showed nearly a 75 percent reduction in their death rate after using the solution and it basically just shows how important it is to be able to detect these disease outbreaks early. Uh, this is the first of many species that we want to tackle and of course the first of many sensors that we want to bring to precision animal health as well. Now going to our second demo, we partnered with a company called Piera Systems, a Canadian company and one of our first air quality monitoring customers. That's a canary sensor, that's an air quality monitoring sensor. Their use case is they want to use these devices in schools or hotels for vape and smoke detection. Uh, now one of the things we figured out is on top of a lot of other pollutants that can be in the background uh, or in the air, uh, what students usually do is they use deodorant uh, or body spray to mask uh, vape sensors. So that's how they fool them. Um, and that's how we brought intelligence into the sensor and we have trained neural networks that are able to differentiate with what is background, what is deodorant, what is vape. And this one does vape and cigarette smoke. Um, unfortunately, we cannot demo vape or cigarette smoke here. Uh, but what we have done is we have sprayed uh, quite a bit of body spray here. And so, uh, but we had sprayed some before this. So basically it now knows that what I have here um, is, is deodorant. The reason why you see its confidence go a little bit lower is because vape and deodorant have quite a bit of um, particle characteristics in common. Uh, so what this does is it doesn't kind of jump into conclusion earlier on, like when it receives the aerosols, does a little bit of thinking, and then when it decides that, I'm, okay, I'm now sure that this is deodorant and not vape, uh, then it basically sends an alert, or in this case, when it decides when it's vape and not deodorant. It is doing a sensor fusion with two different sensors. One is a particle count, uh, and then the other one is a VOC or a volatile organic compound. Why this is important? Uh, because there are a lot of things around us that have similar characteristics in terms of the aerosol, uh, like water vape, for example, out of uh, shower, uh, vape, cigarette smoke, THC, methamphetamine, uh, perfumes, uh, even vacuum, when, when you vacuum and the air particles that kind of spread in the air. So all of these can be quite confusing to uh, historically what we call as threshold based algorithms, which basically just say if uh, there are these many particles in the air, then they make a decision. And that's what intelligence uh, does here. Uh, so that's our second demo. A last demo here is not a live demo, that's a recorded demo done on Avnet and Sentience Raisin board. Um, this board has uh, an IMU and an audio sensor. And the demo here is basically for uh, fall detection, is fusing IMU and audio together. So the impact of that is, let's say if you have like a smart watch that does fall detection um, and say like you jump on a bed or decide to like sit really quickly, uh, it can sometimes detect it as an unsafe fall if it's only relying on the IMU input. However, uh, by adding audio to that, it would say, okay, I've detected some sort of a swift movement, but do I also hear a sound that tells me this person has actually fallen 
on the ground. And then that's when it would tell the user or whoever is responsible for monitoring the output that I detected an unsafe fall because there was a movement as well as an audio like a thud. These are the first of many sensors that we do. We partner with hardware companies. We are not a hardware company. We are purely software. We partner with hardware companies. We bring intelligence to their sensors for real life applications. Thank you. Awesome.